Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. The event map is back. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's DJ. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 22. Today, we got 40 mods for you for all platforms. We have 23 new and 8 updates. And for PC and Mac, we have 7 new and 2 updates. I make modder review videos every time they're released on the end game mod up, so get subscribed if you're new. That way, you never miss any. Oh, yeah, and I'm going to be doing some weird videos over the next two weeks. Check out Farm Sim News from today if you haven't seen that already. All right. Let's get into today's 40 mods. Starting off today with new mods for all platforms, we have the event map. Now this map has two different racetracks on it. Yeah, not one, but two now. We've also got a plowing competition on here. We've got a bell moving competition, bell creating competition, two different soccer fields, not one, but two. Two. There is so much going on with this map. It is incredible. It's a great map to throw like four different players on uh, and really, really have some fun. That's what it's meant for is a four person competition. Now we've got tons and tons of area to play with here. Uh, we don't actually own any of the area because it can't be purchased, but you can purchase bits around the outside of the map if you really want to. As far as everything in here, and well, a new farmer, um, we got like four of everything. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, also, this is only in first person, or like player one. Um, everything's kind of locked in. So if you jump into this single player, you're only going to be able to mess around with a couple different things. So uh, you definitely want to jump into multiplayer, especially if you're playing by yourself. Jump into multiplayer and go and delete farms like uh two three and four and you'll be all good but this is really meant for multiplayer and just having fun with you buddies enjoy this because it's a lot of fun next up new for all platforms we have the Deutz d06 series this is from blue Og and modding and it is a part of things small tractor only 52 horsepower manual transmission with 80 horsepower 80 liters of fuel right there 18 miles per hour at 3.8 tons i apologize i normally have four screens in front of me to help me out with all this information today we have one configuration is standard 200 kilogram we have a cabin on this one which we did not have in farming simulator 19 we've also got both or neither to go so let's do both for now will brands include trellebork michelin continental midas bkt and bridestown and of course we have different wheel setups for each of those depending on what you're going for we do have different engines 52 horsepower and 55 and a 62 and an 82 so we can really pop this thing up a couple different colors of green there and then a couple different rim colors next up we have the raw smash acros 595 if i remember correctly i think this was a base game like mod or something like that from 19 or 17 something like that either way nice combine harvester for us today 325 horsepower 540 liters of fuel 19 miles an hour 9,000 liter capacity and 18 tons we do have customization trail Borg tires, Continental, Michelin, Friedstein, BKT tires, rib colors, you can change those up as well, and we even have a header to match too. 2.4 tons, 7 meters, 6 miles an hour. Now here's an interesting one. This is the MAN TGS 4x4 Sp Special. And we also have a 6x6 special in here as well. Uh, I believe this is based off of the cabin from one of the base game pieces of equipment that we've got. But at the end of the day, they're really just semi-trucks. So that's kind of neat. Um, it looked like we also have some hitch stuff in the back as well. I saw some pictures of these, so let's check it out. So standard stuff, they basically copy-pasted the normal engine. So 500 horsepower, etc., etc., 49 miles per hour. As far as a front window decal, you've got that on there. Uh, it says, um, cowboy, no, don't, not really quite sure what that says. Uh, wheel brands, I do know what these say. Trailer board, Continental, BKT, Nucky and Tires, that's nice to see. Plus we have different versions of each. Flashing lights, yes or no. Bull bar, yes, design one. Design two, design three, and not a attacher. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. So we have a trailer attacher with the PTO. That is going to work great. And then, of course, we have a 500, 640, and 880 horsepower engines. We have the bull bar, chassis colors. Expect those at this point. Uh, we also have the seat color inside, and we can change up 
the rim colors. We'll go and change those up to red. We'll see the same customization options here for the six wheel version as well. Next, we have the Mac 4x2 pack. This comes with the base game pinnacle and the base game Mac Anthem. However, they now have, well, as you can see, just a single axle on the back. Also, when you're customizing these, it centers around not the center of the vehicle, but I think where the center of the vehicle used to be after they've sw uh, chopped off the back. Well, there it is. This is the second of at least three different packs all kind of changed up from the base game trucks that I've seen from this modder themselves. Uh, as far as everything, engines are the same. Uh, you can throw on a uh, day cab fairing on there if you want to. Uh, we do have a couple different beacon options, different engine options on there, wheel setups, main colors. Well, we got those. And then room colors. You got those as well. Um, I think they accidentally copy not those are just matte colors all right fair enough i was about to say it looks like they have the same wheel options there but uh nonetheless there you go same things here as well kind of looks weird but you know we see stuff like this especially with uh like ups and fedex trucks in my area all the time so maybe that's what you're going for next up we got the mahindra retriever plus now this is a modified version with a bunch of different customizations from the base game uh mahindra there's nothing really new here but we do have some uh, neat stuff so you can throw on a 1300 liter capacity back right there vinyl you can throw in a couple different vinyls basically the same one just different color options on there barrier yep you can throw a barrier up there well, that's uh eh, okay it's on the top very neat and then attachers you got that three point which we have base game on the back as well main color we've got all of these plus you got your nitro blues if you really want them and even the copper colors that 82 studio made popular back in farming simulator 19. design colors on here we'll just change up one there you can see that and then we have the plastics color we'll go with that nitro blue looking good and inside color let's go with a bright white Oi, a little bit bright on there. And the rim color, lastly, has about red. There you go. We do have the uh, base game Salic trailer. These were added in one of the first updates for Farming Simulator 22. And they basically made these match. So you have the same vinyl zone here. You have the same colors for main and rim color. You've even got a uh, liquid trailer here as well. And then you've got a, uh, well, it's auto load, but it's auto load in the sense of uh, the way everything works for consoles. So you just pull up next to it and it'll go boop, 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 boop. You'll only be able to load up one thing at a time. Next is the Herculano HP trailer. And yes, this does have auto load for both round bales and square bales, all the standard sizes, minus the baby bales. As far as your specs, it holds 28 bales, no matter which one you use, weighs 3.4 tons. And you got those trailer bulk 404s on there, but you can change it up, Michelin tires, BKT as well. Design we have without frame, you got your toolbox on there, one on one side, one on the other, and you've got the end bits, which I think that's probably going to be the most popular one. Auto load, yes and no. Remember, auto load trailers, now if you go with one, it does not have the uh, straps on there. So if you want the straps, go with auto load, no. And then you got rim color. So a couple different ones through there. Very nice. Remember, 125, 150, 180 centimeter round bells, and 180, 220, and 240 centimeter square bells. Next, we have the Lizard Log Trailer. Now, this is another one of those that was made for PC and then rebranded. The interesting thing that I love is they changed nothing the all they changed was the title it's even got the same uh non-licensed brand right there hall built trailer so uh if you guys want the trailer that's well probably going to be changed up sooner or later for consoles hey here it is it's just a logging trailer at the end of the day so you have room colors uh and then you've got your main color here as well and Really? That's it? Now here's a cool trailer, the Birchman HTW 65. And it's actually a pack because we got a dolly that goes along with this as well. Let's check it out. So, wheel brands include the BKT, we also have the Bridestown, and the Michelin, as well as Trellabog. This holds 56,400 liters of forage crop only. So this is not a bulk trailer. Fenders, you've got your checker plate, galvanized, and back and forth. Material rollers, or metering rollers rather, yeah, you got those if you want to in the very back. I would go with those. Cover, but you got that really nice cover. And that's it for that. And then as far as your dolly goes, uh, I'm not sure how many crampy 10L dollies we have at this point. I know in 19 we had quite a few. So just kind of go through, choose the wheel options you like, choose the fender options you like, and choose 
those three wheel options that you like. Next is the trailer scissors. This is, uh, well, it's a tub trailer is what it is. 42,000 liter capacity. Well, brands of Trelleborg, Michelin, BKT, Vrindstein, Oh, figured they'd add all of them there. Uh, body vinyls, you got a few different ones here. Basically, you have the uh, yes or no. We're going to go no here, and then you could do quite a few different setups here, depending on what you got. Uh, mud flap decal, well, you could throw those on there as well, uh, matching different things. Remember, this is a lizard trailer, but you can do those if you want to. Capacity, unreal capacity of 300,000 liters, basically a Mine's bigger than yours type of trailer. And then you've got all your different colors. We'll go to the toothpaste green there. How's about the toothpaste green there? Yep, vinyl colors. Well, we don't have vinyls on there, but we would go with the black. Toothpaste? Toothpaste it is. Next, we have a cultivator. This is the three and a half meter handcrafted vibration cultivator. We've got, well, two colors right there, black and red and black and, or uh, red and orange. It weighs half a ton, 70 horsepower, 3.5 meters, 8 miles an hour. Next up, we got the dry corn add-on. Now, I don't think this was exactly what people were thinking it was going to be, but it ain't bad still. So, we've got a silo, we've got quite a few different areas for propane, and then we've got a selling point. At the end of the day, this is just adding a new fill type right here. So, let's see. We can go in, let's find the bit. There it is. So, the corn dryer. What you do is you take 500 liters of corn and 24 liters of propane, and that's going to give you 500 liters of dried corn. The dried corn can then be sold right over here at the dry corn market. So, oh yeah, and of course we've got places where you can store your propane as well. We come up through here. One of these has got a bit. Yeah, there you go. So you can buy your propane there and store it nice and easy. We'll jump in, take a look at a few of these things. So the first one I believe is going to be found in productions right here. That is your silo. Then if we go into selling points right over here, we have the dry corn add-on for that. And then lastly, in containers, we have all three of the propane areas. Now these range from 10,000, 20, and 40,000 liter in capacity. So whichever one fits your needs the best is the one to go with. Next, we got some header trailers. These are the Universal Header Trailers Pack. We have the six meter and the five meter on here too. As far as everything, colors. We got a couple colors and a couple rim colors. And that, well, that's really it. <laughs> as far as uh, things, it doesn't give us anything that it really goes with. So the universal, hey, if you need one with six meters or a little bit more, maybe you want one for five meters. That's easy. Next is the quad front transport and the, well, quad trailer. Now, these are really neat because if you guys want to drive around your uh, smaller vehicles or maybe you want to throw, you probably throw on a couple of Antonio Carrera stuff on this as well. At the end of the day, this is just a vehicle transport for a three-point hitch where you could change the main color of it up. And it doesn't change up the whole thing, giving it a very good look. I like the gamma eye still in there. It looks really, really nice. Or is that... Diamond blade, that's diamond blade, isn't it? It looks very good, yeah man. That's very lightweight as well, and then so is the trailer on the back. And even here, we could change up a couple different wheel options. We've got a quad ramp or a solid floor, main color, you could change that up to match. It's a very cool pack right here. From Vertex Design, the Brussels and Laid High Tip Shovel Pack. We've got two shovels. We have the L67 and the 71. We got all of these in Farming Simulator 19 as well. So if you remember them then, I think you're going to remember them now as well. Well, they're here, so you should remember them. Front loaders and tail handlers for the first version. We've got a couple different color options here. 2,300 liter capacity or 1,900 liter capacity, depending. And then we have a larger version. 4,600, 5,290, 5,400, and 6,210. The largest one. Telehandlers and wheel loaders on this one. Remember, they're high tip as well. So whenever you get these, you're going to be able to tip them up via the, the part on the bottom. So you don't need as high of a range in order to use these. If you need front loaders, we gotcha. This is the Lizard 240 to 275 SL front loaders. Now, you could do either hoses on here, no hoses, angle display, standard, or you could throw that on there if you need to as well. And then main colors, we have red, blue, green, and gray. Really, it's, I think, Massey and Case, New Holland, and John Deere and Fent. We've also got the uh, black and the silver on here. And then you've got different versions, 
quite a few different versions. 60 horsepower, 70, 80, and then we've got another 60, 70, 80, and then lastly, the 120. So very cool. I wish we could change up the logos on here because I'm not a huge fan of the lizard, but you might be, and that's totally cool. Here's the neat one, the self-made bell fork. These are cool because there's two different ones. You've got the normal one, and then you have the dynamic mount. Now check this out. So normal bell fork and the dynamic mount version. So this one will actually attach bells with a button, and the forks will not have a collision which is kind of neat. You've also got different supports on here. You've got different amounts of tines on the bottom, uh, front loader, three point, or telehandler. So both of those all at the same time. That's cool. Main color here, you got a couple different color options, support colors, different versions there, and then even for the tines at the bottom. Both of them have the exact same customizations, just one of them's a little easier to use. Need some more weights? Well, we got the Skoma weight pack for you guys. We have four weights on here. First was a 500 kilogram, 850, 1.2 tons, and then lastly, the Oh, 800? Nah, 2,000, baby, and everything in between. Very cool there. As far as customization, the smaller ones just have colors, and that's it. But when you get up to the big one, well, you've got multiple different things here. you got some lights on there. We've got different attachment options for the front of it. We've got main color on here. We've got design color. Really, choose what fits your need best. How's about this? The SMB Silage Silo Pack. Now, there's six different versions here really at the end of the day we've got three different versions you got a short medium and long and then you've got each version with a back or completely opened one thing that i really like about these is the color i love this black color and everything's looking really really good in here as well great design i love this it's just something a little bit different usually we see these in like that gray concrete color in the game and that could be fine but here now, this is pretty cool. Now, that's not the only silo that we've got today because we also have the medium bunker silo right here as well. It's nice because we've got some tire options on here. We've even got a really cool patina. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Can we pick things up? <laughs> yes, we can. I can't throw it very far, but it's there. You guys remember this from Farming Simulator 19. This is the shed with hydraulic control from DD Mod Passion. This is like a double layer shed so hit your action button and what's going to do is it's going to take the bottom floor down and then brings this to a height that is usable you do have concrete areas around here so don't worry about that if we go down into here uh you could see how it really kind of just digs into the ground more or less but it is cool to see how that works and then you hit it <laughs> so you could put your vehicles on here, you could put on uh, pallets and stuff like that. Uh, sometimes things do like to get stuck when you're going up high. Um, so maybe just jump in whatever it is and then hit a button and it'll go boop and you should be just fine. Uh, so they say, um, yeah, yeah, this is, this is uh, how cool is this? All right, I hit the button again. That's awesome. The only thing is once you have sold it, this is what you get you get a big, big hole in the ground. So you might have to go through and uh, readjust a little bit. You next to last new mod for all platforms today. Finally, we're getting there. This is the outhouse from Omatana. All right, so first off, you can open it up. You got toilet paper in here. Uh, that's kind of funny. This is a production chain at the end of the day. So we have straw manure. So you take straw in and you get manure out or wood chips in and manure out or water in and slurry out. Now they do say that in real life, it's not that easy to use human waste for fertilizer. Fortunately, Farming Simulator 22, it's just a game and everything can be played uh, however you want it to be. You can also change the color of the outhouse as well. And your last new mod for all platforms today is gonna be the big bags as default. With this mod, you no longer have to regret it when you unload your cedars or fertilizer just to lose those precious big bags in favor of pallets. Now, when unloading cedars and fertilizers, lime, salt, or pig food, by default, big bags will be used. This will affect all vehicles and even factories that do not specify otherwise. Enjoy your big bags and forget about handling annoying pallets. As mentioned, we do have nine mod updates for all platforms, so let's jump right in. Chainsaw Valley from FSG Modding. It's gonna be version.
version 1.002. They updated the object mask on rocks on the water to reflect, moved the chainsaw collectible at the farmer's market to make it visible, and updated the custom collection or collectibles language. Next up, Piney Run version 1.002. They fixed the starting equipment on new farmer mode, added the new water trigger at Upper Pond, and replaced some trees known to have issues. We also have an update to the Kubota Equipment Pack from Iconic version 1.001. They've got power adjustments to a few of the models, and they have some minor weight reduction for the big rear uh, butterfly mowers. We also have some speed adjustments to the fast bell, so it should go a little bit faster now. We also have an update to the New Holland T7 series from Blue Augen Modding version 1.2. The mod's been prepared for Precision Farming DLC. Seat color now changes with the Fiat Agri option. Black option's been added. Wheel option's been re-edited, and minor bugs been fixed. Massey Ferguson 50 400 series also has an update to version 1.1. He's fixed the inside camera shadows, Nokia entire area, description version. We've also got added wiper sounds and passenger support for the Kubota DLC. So now you can use that buddy seat inside. That's about an update to the Duport PDW 12500. Oh yeah, to version 1.1. We have updated mod description version, added NIR sensor for precision farming, and fixed the trigger position. Next to last mod update today, for all platforms is the low-cost silos version 101. Updated mod description and storage radius has been reduced. And your last mod update today for all platforms should come as no surprise, Precision Farming from Giant Software. This is going to be version 102. They fixed an issue with the visual effects on sprayers without spot spraying. No more crop sensor night warning while the AI is active. Fix the issues with nitrogen map while selling fields. Fix the sewing machine usage and liquid fertilizer price and economic analysis, fix the turn light on the Kodu PTR, and add the 24 meter boom configuration for the John Deere R732i sprayer. Making our way into new mods for PC and Mac players, the first one is the AG Extend X Power. This uses electricity to get rid of your weeds. So basically it's a an electric weeder, more or less. Uh, it's got a uh, two mile per hour max speed, doesn't say anything about the working width. Um, actually it says 8.2 feet. However, whatever that is in meterage. Um, it's a neat mod. I tried to do some, some stuff about this before it released, but they really didn't post anything, just pictures and that was it. It's really neat, it's cool, but at the end of the day, it's, it's an electric weeder really all it is. Next is a mod that I have no idea why it is a PC only mod. This is the Crampy Dolly 10L. Second one we've gotten today. Um, a couple different setups here. Yeah, different wheels. Nice to see. Different vendors. Nice to see. Room colors. Cool beans, cool beans. Why is this PC only? Next up, new for PC and Mac players, we have the Bell Storages. These are for, as far as I can see, baby bells, regular square bells, and round bell so let's check them out where can you find them of course you're seeing right here you got your little logos and the icons and everything you even got some new colors and i have the hiccups what let's check these out so go into silos this is where you're gonna find them and then you can see we've got stuff here for your round bells so it's 400 000 liters this is going to be the uh well, I just put one down, so I guess we'll figure out what happens then. You got stuff for uh, grass, hay, straw, and silage. Then we have the square bales right here, and that's going to be the same thing. Grass, hay, straw, and silage. Then little baby bales. Little, 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 little bitty baby bales. Oh, that's cool. Well, it says it's quartered, but actually I'm not really sure if it's baby bales or not. I'm starting to think maybe this is just regular bales. Would have been nice though. They've got it says small uh, quartered bell storage. Not really a good translation there for English. Nonetheless, these exist. If you're looking for some, check them out. Well, this is fun. Um, I I can't seem to delete these. Can't sell them. So either don't put two on top of each other or don't put them down at all, I guess. Next up, you got the Dusty Lands extension new for PC and Mac players. This increases the amount of dust in your game. Uh, I will, after all, with plow, spader, subsoils, cultivators, disc hairs, power hairs, rollers, planters, cedars, mulchers, balers, wind rowers, mowers, cutter heads, and combine harvesters. It also increases the amount of dust that your wheels kick up as well or it can decrease it because this is completely customizable. You could set it to however you want. 
I've already done a full video on this, so just check that out if you haven't already. It'll show you how to use this. Next to last new one for PC and Mac players today is the Remove Tool Cameras. This grip removes all cameras from all tools. When entering the vehicle, it's possible to use only the cameras of the vehicle. This feature is automatically added, no installation required. And lastly, you can use the only inside vehicle camera. This grip removes all cameras except for the inside camera for the first person view. When entering the vehicle, only the inside vehicle's camera will be used. This feature is added automatically, no installation required. I thought that there was an extra mod that was released um, previous to this one as well. So this is only six new for PC. I thought there was seven, so I'm gonna figure out, see if I can find out what happened to that seventh mod. We do have two mod updates, however, for PC and Mac players. First is manual refueling version 1001. It proved more clearly code. Description version updated, fix the refueling from some placeables. And lastly, an update to the headland management version 2.2 support for mod speed control add-on support for mod enhanced vehicle add-on configuration enabled for slurry vehicles and added the option to hide key binding info in f1 menu well guys that is gonna be it for today hope you enjoyed the video if you did drop a like on it get subscribed if you're new join the go ham fam make sure those notification bells are on as well that way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel speaking of i am not using my primary computer right now figured for the next couple days before i leave town i'm gonna be using the laptop setup that i'm gonna be taking with me so videos may look a little bit different they may sound a little bit different they may be edited just slightly different but i'm just trying to find a good routine to get into to get these videos out to you as quick as possible while I'm gone. Otherwise, hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace!